I'm going to show you how to clean cook lambi. But before we get started, please hit the subscribe button below and let's get started. Here are today's ingredients. Two and a half pounds conch, also known as lambi. Two limes, one cup of vinegar, two tablespoons of baking soda. Now the ingredients for cleaning the lambi. For the seasoning, I will need 2 tablespoons of garlic powder, 2 tablespoons sour orange juice, 2 tablespoons olive oil, 1 tablespoon hot sauce, half teaspoon black pepper, 1 packet seasoning, 2 branches of thyme, a handful of celery and parsley leaves, and 1 steam pressure cooker. Right now, I'm going to show you how to tenderize the lamb beef. I'm going to take it and put it inside of a Ziploc bag and pound it just to give it any splash from the lambi. Now I'm going to clean the lambi. But before I clean it, I have to put the baking soda and uh, some water. And I let it sit for 20 minutes. The reason why I put baking soda in the lambi is to disinfect any bacteria and to make the lambi softer. And now I'm cleaning off the baking soda. And I am going to wash it a second time to remove any leftover baking soda. I am cleaning the lambi a second time with lime juice and vinegar to really make sure it's clean. I'm scrubbing the lime against the lambi to get into the crevices of the lambi. After that, I will rinse off the lambi with cold water. Please. Make sure do not add any salt or the lambi will be tough. Right now, I'm squeezing the lambi to remove any excess of water. Depending on the size of your pressure cooker, you need to measure the water with the amount of the lambi you have. This step is very important because you have to make sure the water is covered in the lambi but not by too much. Then I will be putting in the seasoning on the lambi for flavor. I will let the lambi boil for about an hour and a half for it to be really cooked on medium high. After the long beer has been cooking for one hour and a half, now I'm going to make the sauce. To make the sauce for the long beer, I will be using oil, sofrito, sour orange juice, hot sauce, Haitian apis, which has green onion, garlic, and salt blended together. Two tablespoons of tomato paste, red and green peppers, onion, butter, and cloves. Now, I will put oil and put the heat on medium high and add my Haitian apis.
which will take about 3 minutes for it to start getting ready to cook the tomato paste. Now I am adding 2 tablespoons of tomato paste. I will add 1 tablespoon of sofrito and stir it all over the pan for at least 1 minute. Then I will be adding the lambi end and adding 2 tablespoons of orange juice for flavoring. I will also be adding the cloves for flavoring and to get rid of the seafood smell. I am adding the same water that was in the pressure cooker to the pan so the lambi doesn't stick to the pan and keep the flavoring. Right now, I'm adding the border to the lambi to taste even better. I'm adding in the hot sauce. You don't have to put hot sauce in your lambi. This is just my preference. I am adding the peppers and onions for an even better taste. After I have added everything, I will let the lambi simmer in medium low heat for 10 minutes. And now the lambi is ready to eat. Bon appétit! Thank you everyone for watching my video. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe for more great content. And also, please leave a comment below about what you thought of my dish and what Haitian dish I should do next time. Thank you. Bye bye! Thank you.